Hi! If you have tracking issues with your Valve Index controllers, Tundra trackers, Vive trackers, it is possible that the reason for this is because that specific tracker has issues with the specific dongle it is paired to. Personally, I have a lot of trackers, I have a lot of dongles, and I've noticed that if I have four different trackers paired to the same Tundra dongles, at least one of them is having issues. Thanks to sadly Bradley retweeting this tweet by Ridge, uh, I learned how to specifically tell each tracker to what dongle it should be paired without too much hassle. And here's how you do it. So first you need to go to this folder here. You go to your local disk, program files, steam, config, and here you should find this file, steamvr.vr settings. Uh, if this file is not here, maybe you just need to go into steamvr, change whatever setting, and then it should be generated. And you can open this with any editing program. I use Notepad++. And in order to allow this feature, we need to add this line here. Allow in headset controller pairing, true. I don't know exactly how this file works or how important it is to put everything in order. You may not even have this dashboard thing. So I think if I, when I added this, I didn't have any of these at all. But this is how my file looks like. So we have this in uh, line 48 in the dashboard uh, between collision bounds and driver lighthouse. That is working for me. Uh, feel free to copy that. I also paste this line down in the description. Feel free to copy it too. Once you have that done and you're in SteamVR, you can open your SteamVR dashboard. You can go to Steam, VR settings, controllers, and if you click on pair controllers, now you have a list of all the dongles that you currently have connected to your PC, and you can see if they're currently connected to a tracker. So I can see, okay, this dongle is already connected to something. This dongle here is not connected to something. And if I say I'm in VR and I notice my right controller is having issues, it's like drifting away all the time, uh, I can go in here and say, okay, maybe the one it's paired to is having issues. Let's try to pair it to something else. I see this dongle is not paired to anything yet. I click on pair. Then I set this controller into pairing mode. And it is already connected. And now, um, that controller is paired to the specific dongle we selected here. And I see, oh my god, it's having issues again there. So apparently these don't work that great together. I mean, it's coming back right now, but who knows how long. Okay, let's try another one. We go to this one. Pair it again. Boom, now it's paired to this one. And it's also having issues, maybe not. But basically that's how I handle it at the moment. I have everything working pretty okay. And if something is having issues and drifting away, I just try to pair it to any of the other available dongles. Now for me, I have a lot of dongles available. I have three Tundra dongles that allow four connections and a couple of other single connections. <laughs> but if you don't have that, you can also just, you know, select something that's already paired to something. It will lose tracking and then you can switch them around and uh, have a way more pleasant time figuring out what connection is working to what connection. Yeah, I've been searching for this feature for a long time. I wanted to do it kind of similar to this ever since I started using SteamVR in 2020. And I only found about this like a couple months ago, but it has been helping me a lot already and I hope it can help you too. <laughs> so um, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.